I were to choose between one evil and another, I'd rather not choose at all. On today's review, we're going to be taking a look at the McFarlane Toys, The Wisher 3, Wild Hunt, Geralt of Rivia. And here he is, standing straight out of the box without any crazy poses or accessories. My first impressions are really positive. I do like every, well, almost every McFarlane Toys figure. I think they are really good in quality, especially when you compare the... Uh, okay, when you compare it to this something like Star Wars Black Series or anything Hasbro makes, when you compare the prices as well, I think McFarlane toys are just way better in general. But of course, you know, the Star Wars license um, in and of itself is more expensive, so you have to take that into consideration as well. But this figure looks great, in my opinion. He looks like he jumps straight out of the game. Well, for a 20 to 25 dollar retail figure, it's amazing. The, the amount of detail paint applications and the articulation points that they've given to this figure for this price is insane. He looks like a hundred dollar figure in my eyes. He, can, he looks like something like SH Figure Arts or Mafex figures, which about you know cost like 80 to 100 dollars. And uh, without further ado, let's get into the accessory part. And here are all the accessories that come included with the figure. As you can see, he comes with so many things, it barely you know, fits on the rotating display table. First of all, let's start with this display stand, because most McFarlane, well, I think every McFarlane toys figure comes with a display stand. This, of course, given that this is from The Witcher 3 Wild Hunt video game, has a little stamp that says, just that. And, of course, Geralt does have peck holes at the bottom of his feet, both of them, so you can just easily... He, he doesn't have too much trouble standing, he stands without it pretty well as well, but as you can see, it does give him a lot of extra support. And I just love how they put the, the label on the display sense, so it shows you what media, video game, movie it, it is from. Second, let's take a look at this one. I'm really liking, liking this. This is a werewolf head trophy. Of course, when you kill a monster in the game, not not all, all, all monsters, but I think with like the bosses, you can take their head as a trophy. And this one has lots of very nice details. The rope, nicely, look at this, this is gross. This looks really gross. You can actually see like the spinal cord and everything, really gross. This tongue is a really soft rubber plastic, so it moves around if you want. If it would have been cool if they'd given us actual, you know, the uh, actual iris to the eye. I don't know if the werewolves actually had an iris, but I think they did. They didn't just have this kind of soulless white eyes, but maybe, you know, because it's been dead for a long time, the color, uh, the, the eye lost its color or something. Really nice scar on the head here the eyes and you can use this again this is something this is an accessory that you can use with you know another figure as well i mean i don't believe any other figure could you know pull this off as good as Geralt. but um and i'll show you he can actually hold it in both of his hands if you want but you just it's easy enough actually well saying that I'm having a bit of a trouble here. You want to be careful because uh, the rope is a really soft plastic so it could break or uh, you know snap or something. As you can see you can hold it pretty well. Let's get it out and just put it here for the time being. And he comes with two swords because of course witchers carry two swords. A steel sword for humans and a silver for monsters. Let's start with the steel sword. Okay that just fell, whatever. Um, as you can see, this is the steel sword. It's uh, much um, broader than the silver one, I believe, or maybe not. Yeah, a little bit. Although I always like the silver looking, uh, the silver swords better. It's you know just like a normal long sword, basically from any video game. But it's very nice nonetheless. And then the silver swords, which is my favorite. 
As you can see, it has uh, these engravings, which are, I believe, runes in the game. You can also put runes on the sword in the game, and they'll have the, these that actually like to light up and glow in the game. This actually looks like a, um, as you can see on the head, these are two snake heads. So, having said that, this is uh, most likely the Viper School Witcher Silver Sword from the game that you can get. I think you start out with a very similar looking sword, but there is a, a silver sword that's called a Viper Silver Sword that you know has this kind of pummel at the end. And then, of course, for his two swords, you also get a sheath, which is you can't separate them. This is just one piece. There's a peg, so you can put it on his. You can plug it into his back, and actually, the way you want to do it, you know, you can put it in either one. But I think the way to do it is the steel one actually goes into this one. You actually want to be careful that you know, you you could put it like this so that the blade doesn't. You want. You don't want to put it like this. You want to actually it like this. I think that's the way to do it and the silver one goes into this sheet. See and once it's in it's pretty snug it's not gonna fall out or anything and you can just take Geralt and there's this little peg hole and just plug it in and boom that's also not gonna fall off it's pretty snug. Really nice looking. See looks pretty nice on him. Uh, so now let's move on to the details of the figure. So let's take a look at the details of the figure starting from top to bottom. Let's actually remove this for the time being. Okay. <clears throat> so the head. I think it's very nice, but it could use maybe some more ruggedness to it, you know. I don't know, I mean, you know, Geralt is pretty old. Maybe some additional... Well, actually, there are some wrinkles on the forehead. I'm lying, so that's very nice. And there's a little scar here on the nose. Another scar on the forehead. And there, of course, his very notorious scar that goes along his left eye. Really liking the thick eyebrows that they gave him. Very angry looking, just like in the games. So I take it all back. He actually does have some oldness applied to him. But it doesn't capture good on camera, so but it looks really good in hand as well. Um, the color of the mouth does look a lot vibrant on camera, it's not as vibrant in hand. The color of the hair and beard are just the right gray, in my opinion. Uh, this little piece could have been painted uh, black, you know, the uh, little, I don't know what to call it, the like a hair, the hair, they tied it, ties the hair around, you know, this little piece, this right here, this should be black, I believe, you know, I don't, I don't know if you can see it in the game, but I'm pretty sure, it, you know, it's not, it's not matching his uh, hair color. And then I really like that they, they, the way they did the necklace, it's, you know, it's one piece sculpted together with the torso, so, you know, there are some um, paint application errors, you know, the silver goes down to the chest, but it's barely noticeable. Really nice. Uh, I don't, I actually like it that it's not a separate piece because the, you know, it doesn't like move around or anything. It sits right there in the good, in a good place. Um, these, uh, shoulder pads are very soft. You can, you know, they get out of the way of the articulation. And I really like the silver wash that they give into every chain piece of the armor it looks like actual chain mail and the feel of it i haven't seen anything like this in any other figure this is like i'm not i'm not over exaggerating or anything or, or at least i'm trying not to but it's really well looking this is also pretty soft this is just amazing all these straps on his uh, this uh is actually a separate piece but uh, it's very soft so i wouldn't really move it around because it might um uh, break or snap or uh, you know you can actually like see inside the figure with this hole uh, let's if you see here you, you you might say like oh it doesn't have any ab articulation or torso articulation well he actually does I'll show you any articulation it's actually kind of hidden by by this it doesn't have much he is but uh, this is very nicely hidden like 
this is all soft you can as you can see you can push it in and, and stuff very nice we like these little pommel things on the gauntlets the chain on the back as well very nice liking the color of this belt it doesn't you know it's kind of different from all the other belts around his armor this hook is very soft as well so it's not gonna prick you or anything be careful with it very soft might actually break or snap really liking the texture that they apply to the pants it really does look like some kind of hunting pants or something I'm liking the spurs as well because he does ride his horse around a lot, so he does. He, he does. He's gonna have some spurs. And the again, the pin applications on the feet as well are pretty good. They're giving us a little bit of a dirt, dirty look. Very very nice looking figure. So now let's get into the articulation. Moving on to the articulation, mind that this is my personal copy of the figure, so I might be a bit more careful with it. Starting from top to bottom, his head is on a single ball joint. Um, it does not rotate around because of the hair. He doesn't really have tilt side to side very much. He looks down this much, looks up. Bare, just nothing basically because of the hair. So that's, you know, this is one thing that's kind of a bummer the hair even though it's kind of soft it gets in the way a lot um the arms are on a hinge they um rotate all the way around he can do a full t pose it looks like let me just get this hand as well it's gonna see basically almost a full t pose um there is a bicep symbol right there that's very nice double jointed elbows which allow you to go um oh my god it's really really hard oh basically this much but you're gonna kind of push in on this armor piece so be careful i wouldn't really put this uh, figure in this kind of pose because this might break or something and then is the famous mcfarlane toys um hand articulation there's this little some people call this ugly ball joint, but it actually allows you that the figure, you can, you know, swivel, of course, and then, you know, you can vertical hinge, and you can actually just rotate this around if you want, and then the figure actually gets a um, kind of a horizontal one as well. Same with the other side. I'm really liking these. You know, it, it does look a bit ugly, but it allows you really good articulation on the hands. And as I've said before, the ab articulation is very nicely hidden. He does move forward, well, not a lot, and back a uh, kind of a little bit, you know, that's all right. So yeah, articulation is not amazing, but this, even though it's very well hidden and it's, it's not too bad, the legs go out this much so we can basically pull off a Jean-Claude Van Damme, you know, that's almost a Jean-Claude Van Damme, as you can see, hinge and a ball joint, um, goes forward this much, goes back this much, double jointed knees, which are really tight, oh my god, goes around, goes about this much, oh my god, it's, there is, um, I'm looking for a thigh cut, but there doesn't seem to be one, so there's no swivel on the legs at all, which is kind of a bummer. There is a swivel here, actually, because it's the same kind of ball joint hinge as the uh, hand, so it goes forward this much, goes back this much. Uh, it's got a swivel. You can, um, I believe it, you can rock side to side, but it's kind of hard to do because... Yeah, there is a rock side to side, but it's hard to pull off. And there is toe articulation as well. All right. Now let's get into the size and comparisons. And moving on to size and comparisons, Geralt of Rivia seems to be standing at approximately 17 and a half centimeters the top of his head, which translates to 6.8 inches. And to the top of the 
sword, well, given, you know, like, what kind of position you give it, or the farthest one you can have it, this basically gives you, like, 20 centimeters, which is 7.8 inches in height. Comparison-wise, here he is standing next to the Star Wars The Black Series Beskar Armored Mandalorian on the left, and on the right, it's the NECA Ultimate Jungle Hunter Predator. As you can see, he scales well with the Predator, and he's a lot taller than Mando. And if you want to see him next to another McFarlane Toys figure, this is the McFarlane Toys DC Multiverse Dark Knight Returns Batman. And here he is, standing next to a can of Coca-Cola. And my final thoughts on this figure. Uh, I'm really loving this figure, but you know, I am a huge fan of The Witcher and The Witcher video games in general, so if you're a fan of those as well, I suggest you buy this for the, for the price. It's a really, really nice figure, as well as another, another McFarlane Toys figures. They are really worth the price, most of them. Um, I'll do some other reviews on other McFarlane Toys figures. Maybe I'll move on to DC Multiverse figures if anyone was interested in that. Um, the sculpting is on point. The articulation could be better. The paint applications are amazing. The likeness of Geralt is really nice. I really like that the McFarlane Toys gives us a display stand with every figure. I think every uh, faction figure uh, manufacturing company should do that. I'm looking at you, Hasbro. Star Wars Black Series figures, you know, some of them really need a display stand and it would be really nice to get one. Um, the scale is very nice. He could be maybe a bit taller because Geralt is a pretty tall dude. The accessories are really nice. You get both of his swords, the scabbard that you can, you know, either take off or put on him. You can holster the uh, swords and the scabbards if you want. You can have him in this pose, how he just pulls out the sword from the scabbard. And there's the werewolf head trophy, which you can, you know, do whatever you want with, I guess. Overall, really, really like liking this figure a lot. So this is my review of the McFarlane Toys The Witcher 3 Wild Hunt Get Out of Frivia. I'm interested to see what other um, figures that they'll do in this line. Um, it was me, the collector. If you liked the video, consider leaving a like. Or if you didn't like the video, consider leaving a dislike. That's an option for you as well. If you like what I'm doing, consider, consider uh, subscribing to my channel. And I'll see you later.